trick, the trick to learn or to memorize that word or understand that word, use that word is say something in Hindi in your mother tongue. Right? Good morning. Good morning. Sir. How is what's up? How have yes, you been? Going so far, so good. So far, so good. <laughs> How have are you, you sir? Today's newspaper? Have you seen today's newspaper? Yes. Okay. You have it? You have it? Uh, your voice is coming, but you have not it? clear. <clears throat> you have it with you? Yes, yes. Today's newspaper? Yeah. What are the headlines? Mm. Let me check because the. Uh, yeah, not yet read. What are the parts of the newspaper? What are the parts? Parts of newspaper. What are the parts of the newspaper? Uh, like uh, so, city so news. If you, see, if you see the, if you see this newspaper, what do you call this? This part, where it's written the Hindu or the Times of India, the first, the top, the front and top part, what do you call it? The mask head. That is the banner, banner or the name of the newspaper. Name, is, yes. We call it as mask head. M-A-S-T-H-E-A-D, mask head. So, in the mast head, you have all the details. An emblem is there, the name is there, today's date is there, where it is published, or they published from Chennai, published from Delhi, published from Cochin, published from Bangalore. All the details of this is given. Where it is given? Where it is given is given in the mast head. Mast. Or you can remember master head. It's not master, must head. M A S T, must head. Okay. And what do you call this? This part. These are, these are called the top one. India, Canada expel diplomats as major case row intensifies. Go to the first page. Headlines. Headlines. So sometimes if you're busy, you can read the headlines. Yes. You can read North Tamil Nadu set to get heavy rain till October 17. Mm -hmm. Today 15, 15, 16, then 17. The meteorological department has announced heavy rainfall due to <laughs> due to low pressure in the Bay of Northern part of Tamil Nadu will experience heavy rain. The government is gearing up for the inundations and flood to cope with the extreme situations. So these are called headlines. Headlines. Yeah. Okay. Before, after the headline, you can see a small, this one, by Kalol Bhattacharji, New Delhi. Can you see? Up below the headline, there yes. will be some details. Who has reported that? Yes. And what is it all about? That is called byline. By line. By headline and byline. So by what line. does it mean by byline? Byline <laughs> gives you the details of the person who has written that yes. news item or the name and detail where from he is. So all these are given in the by line. By line. Yeah. And of course, there will be photos. And with the photos, there will be captions. What is caption? What is the caption? Caption is... Uh, For the picture, they will give a caption. Where it was shot, where it was taken, what it is all about. So if you see a picture, and uh, below that picture, there will be something like this is... So this is a picture, if you see, this is a picture, 
and what is written below is the caption for that picture. Or maybe something is written on top of the picture that is a caption. Okay. And you know what is editorial? What is editorial? editorial. You know what is editorial? Uh, yes. What is editorial? Editorial is a part where the means uh, chief uh, editor. Right. Chief editor writes something. Yes, very good, very good. Yeah. And what is the importance as an English learner? What is the importance of editorial as an English learner? Uh, there we will get new vocabulary, advanced vocabulary, sentence. That structure. will be that the English uh, will have advanced vocabulary, advanced grammar, yeah. advanced sentence structure, complex com compound sentences. So if you want to improve your English. Every day, read the editorial. Mm -hmm. How to read the editorial? You will have to read it twice, not once. Twice. Once, mm -hmm. no, twice. Anything in the in the in the normal, like if you read this, in a dramatic turn of events, mm -hmm. India on Monday decided to withdraw its High Commissioner Sanjay Kumar Verma and other senior diplomats stationed in Canada. So you read it once. Then, so now you learned it. What happened? India has withdrawn the diplomats from Canada due to some reasons. Now you go deeper into that sentence. How that sentence is written? What is the structure of that sentence? Mm -hmm. How, what type of structure they have used, whether it's a compound sentence, whether it's a complex sentence. Meanwhile, yes, another good usage. You are connecting the first paragraph with the next paragraph. Meanwhile, this is called linking words. Linking. Meanwhile, furthermore, additionally, these are called linking, linking words. Meanwhile, news agencies AP reported that Canada had expelled six Indian diplomats, including High Commission. Yeah. Including High Commission. The developments came of hours after Canadian government declared the six Indian officials as persons of interest for their alleged role in the killing of pro Khalistan figure Hardeep Singh Major in British Columbia in 2022. So you read it once and then one more time you detail that sentence. How that sentence is written. Is there any new word in that? So we try to guess the meaning of that word from the context. Mm -hmm. It's a very beautiful way of learning English. Now we are all advanced English learners, so you should be able to understand most of the words, most of the vocabulary given in the yeah. English. I will attribute, I will impute my English, whatever I have reached, just because of reading the Hindi. Reading 70 English. to 80 percent credit, I can impute that to the reading of the school. Mm -hmm. yes. The rest is like watching, reading books and speaking. But because yeah. I started reading English newspaper when I was in ninth standard, mm -hmm. when I was in the ninth yeah. My father, he subscribed only my mother tongue, vernacular, regional newspaper. Mm -hmm. But I used to go to the library. We had a very good library in our locality. And, um, they, we have all the newspapers, like we have Hindu, Indian Express, and magazines. Right? So I started reading that when I was nine. Then continue 10, 11, even today, without newspaper, my day is not complete. I don't like to read the news on electronic media. I don't like the news on the TV because that will be uh, biased. Mm -hmm. The news on the TV, that depends upon the channel to channel. One channel will report something and others will be totally mum on that news. They don't want to publish, they don't want to talk. Because all of them have political affiliations. Most yeah. of the channels, if you see the public channel, they will be talking for BJP or India TV or NDTV will be talking against, for example, I'm telling. So I don't want to be to get biased or you know, kind of news which can make us biased or a different opinionated people. Mm -hmm. So it is a very good idea or very good method to read. Yeah. 
So in the newspaper, you will see this one. What is this? Can you read? This, this is an advertisement page? This is an advertisement. Whole page advertisement about yeah. Buddha. This is called advertorial. Like editorial, we call this the whole page. A company has given an advertisement. Whatever form it is, this has nothing yeah. to do with any kind of news. There's no news mm -hmm. value. This is just to, for getting paid for him. Maybe 5 lakhs mm -hmm. or 10 lakhs of rupees will die, must have spent for this. Yes. This is called advertorial. 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 Advertisement editorial. That's a short mm -hmm. form. Advertorial. And sometimes you might have heard, I don't know whether you have heard the term classified. Classified advertisement. This is classified. Classified. On Sundays, you have classified advertisement. What's your newspaper? Is it a uh, Hindu Times or the Times, of Times, Times of India? So I don't know whether today is, there is any classified, but Sundays and Saturdays you will have small advertisement for mm -hmm. property, for house rent, for matrimonial, mm -hmm. sale, car for sale, bike for sale, house for sale. Mm -hmm. The individual will pay for that. It's not yeah. advertisement of like uh, Kalyan Jewelers or Hyundai or Maruti because that will be full page advertisement. Yes. You will have to pay like in lakhs, two lakhs, three lakhs, four lakhs. They charge per page. One yeah. page. Like if you see, see this one. This is not a classified advertisement. They might have paid. If this is on the front page, you have to pay through your nose. You have to pay through your nose. If it is in between or inside, then you need not. Of course, you will have to pay for more, but not much. But classified, what is classified? Tell me. Uh, classified, it comes mostly Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. And hmm. very small advertisement. The small they advertisement given by the individuals. Individuals, yes. For example, for example, like property advertisement. Like motor vehicle uh, advertisement, matrimonial advertisement, matrimonial. Uh, rental rental advertisements, mm -hmm. anything. like, And that, that is charged number of words per word. That's why we have to make it very small and cute. Mm -hmm. A car, a, a, a 20 or 10 year old Maruti car for sale. Please contact so and so. Mm -hmm. yes. A property for sale, a 2000 yes. square feet, 15 year old house for sale in New Mumbai. Please contact. You must have seen that. These type of advertisements are yes. called classified yes. advertisements. At the big full page called advertorials. Advertorials, yes. So when you get a newspaper, so which there are, as I, I think we have mentioned it, you have the friend, la, friend page, we have headlines, and then you have regional news, you have sports news, you have international news. So which news you are interested in? Uh, nowadays, I first read Bombay Times hmm. because they're English. What's history. happening in Mumbai? Yes, and after that, I read City News mm -hmm. and one part of the editorial one part of the editorial why not only one part why not the complete editorial uh, because uh, i uh, read uh, means very slowly and mm -hmm. uh, write down all yeah. hard words now it will be more slower because i've told you to read it twice then and well, there itself it's not that you complete the editorial once and then you repeat no when you are reading mm -hmm. it, like first you read it and try to understand. Then mm -hmm. you really focus, concentrate and read about the structure of the sentence. Mm -hmm. How they have formed that sentence. Yeah. What are the particular words and what is the style of writing. Because mm -hmm. if you want to learn beautiful style of writing, you should read this. Yeah. But this nowadays I really love to read newspaper and at least 
One hour I read every day without fail. And, and if you can add one more thing into your newspaper reading, read it aloud. Read it aloud, read, yes. Yeah. Can you try? Can you try for our viewers? Can you try? Uh, yes, but uh, your newspaper is different and mine is. No, no, you read yours. Read yours. Uh, so which best, part best I read? Mean? Headlines. Or editorial. Editorial or headlines. It's your choice. Uh, the headline of this article is. A calm mind is the main ingredient of success. Wow. A calm mind is the ingredient of success. A calm mind. What do you mean by calm mind? You know calm that. mind means uh, a person who is very calm. Means uh, relaxed. Relax. Relax. Yes. Cool. Cool yes. headed. An ingredient. What is the meaning of ingredient? And and the ingredients for a calm, cool, relaxed mind. Yes, because uh, for what is uh, ingredient? Ingredients here in ingredient means uh, like uh, the things which are important uh, for success. Yeah, ingredients for ingredient. success: hard work, yes. time management, yes. patience, resilience, confidence. Resilient, resilient, very nice. <laughs> yes. so these are the ingredients, these are the recipes for yes. the success. success. Very nice. So, you learn two, three words ingredients. Yes. Oh, I'll tell you one thing one good idea to learn some new words. Like, suppose yes. it is like become ingredient. Abhi to aapko samaj mein aagi hai, ingredient kya hota hai? Okay. Ingredient. Means, agar aapko ek saman banana hai, ek curry banana hai, to iske liye kya kya ingredients chahiye? Iske liye ko chicken curry banana hai, to what are the ingredients of chicken curry? Pahle to chicken chahiye, mm. pahle to masala chahiye, mm. vegetables chahiye, aloo yes. chahiye, onion chahiye, onion, garlic. spices chahiye, garlic chahiye, oil mm. chahiye. Yes. Yeah, then uh, ginger paste chahiye, masala chahiye. Uh, curry leaves chahiye, dhania leaves chahiye, many ingredients are there. Yes. Okay. It's clear. This word is now the parts, yes. the things which you use to make something are called the ingredients. Of yes. Success ka ingredients kya kya hai? To aapne bata diya. You have told yes. me what are the ingredients of success. Okay. Nice. So now the trick. The trick to learn or to memorize that word or understand that word, use that word is say something in Hindi, in your mother tongue, and use that word. For example, Are yaar, aaj to main chicken curry banane ka plan kar raha tha. Lekin ye barish ka wajay se main bahar nahi ja paaya. Mere paas uske liye koi ingredients nahi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hindi ka beach mein aapne dal diya ye English word. Mm -hmm. Samaj gaya? Yes, yes. To mene to kal mein husband ke saath baat kar raha tha. To husband ne bola mere ko to ye chahiye. Mere ko to chahiye masala dosa chahiye. Aur usne bola yaar Sarshudhi tumne to bahut badhiya masala dosa chahiye. Aur usne bola kal choye bana do. Lekin mere paas to ingredients to hai nahi. Use the word again ingredients. In char bar aapko hindi ke saath aap ye angrezi word jo word which the word which you have learned and you you use that baad mein aap kabhi nahi aur aapko use karna bhi thoda aasan hai then if you wish you can say hey yesterday my husband was asking me to make masala dosa but i don't have the ingredients it may take two three days because it's heavy rain i can't go out Mm -hmm. Once the rain is over, I will go out and buy the ingredients and I will make crispy masala dosa. Mm -hmm. You have first, you have used this in English, sorry, in your mother tongue, in between any word, nostalgia. Mm -hmm. How do you use this in while talking in Hindi? You know what is the meaning of nostalgia or nostalgic feel? What is nostalgia? It's a oh, yeah. new word I want to teach you nostalgia. Uh, means a person who is uh, uh, like very some feeling is an emotion yes. which is triggered by triggered. something 
या यू गेट लाइक नो एक पुराना सॉन्ग मोहम्मद रफी का गाना सुन के बोलते हैं ना मेरे को थोड़ा सा नोस्टालजिक जैसा फीलिंग हो गया आपकी पुराना जमाने का आपका विलेज का याद आया आपका घर का याद आया आपका पेरेंट्स का याद आया आपका स्कूल का याद आया ये थोड़ा से दुख भी पहुंच जाता है थोड़ा से इमोशनल हो जाता है ये याद करने से तो उसको बोलते हैं अगर वो गाना सुनते लाइक ये एक दो तीन चार पांच छह इसमें कोई नस्टालजिया नहीं आता लेकिन आपको एक टेल मी वन नस्टालजिक सॉन्ग विच ब्रिंग्स ब्यूटिफुल मेमोरीज ऑफ पास्ट बड़ा नाम करेगा तो आपको आपका पापा का याद आएगा मम्मा का याद आएगा तो आपका ग्रैंड फा का याद आएगा ये यादों को बोलते हैं तो ये आपको ये वर्ड अगर सीखना हो तो पहले आप यूज कीजिए हिंदी में यूज कीजिए अरे मस्त गाना है यार मैंने तो बार बार सुना वो 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 लाता है एक नोस्टालजिक फीलिंग तो थोड़ा से नोस्टालजिया बन ले हिंदी में आपने यूज कर लिया तीन चार जगह आपने यूज कर लिया एंड नाउ यू मेक इट इन इंग्लिश कैन यू मेक इट इन इंग्लिश यूज दिस सॉन्ग ऑफ पापा कहते हैं बहुत प्यार करेगा देन आई रिमेंबर आई मीन दैट ब्रिंग्स इन लॉट ऑफ नोस्टालजिया दैट ब्रिंग्स कभी एक कभी कभी खाना बनाया आपने कभी आपका मम्मा का जैसा मम्मा जैसा बना तो वैसा आपने कुछ बनाया तो आपको ब्रिंग्स द मेमोरीज ऑफ योर मामा आई आई कुक्ड समथिंग आई आई कुक्ड द दाल राइस एग्जैक्टली लाइक द वे माय मदर यूज्ड टू मेक एंड इट ब्रॉट इन लॉट ऑफ नोस्टालजिया मीन आपको पुराने नोस्टालजिया ब्रॉट दैट मेड मी नोस्टालजिक Yeah. or that brought a lot of nostalgia nostalgia is something in some emotional connect or mm-hmm. emotional yes. thoughts yes yes so a koi bhi english word editorial se aapko milta hai this paper se milta hai so what you do is connect it or use it while speaking in your mother tongue mm-hmm. two three times you try to use it in your mother tongue in between mm-hmm. and if anyone or even i me also want to learn advanced vocabulary fast so what should i do what what should i do advanced vocabulary yes yes read editorial mm-hmm. take notes write down the words write read the reread the editorial several times yes. and write down the words which you don't know try to guess the meaning from the context if you don't understand the meaning then you google it and make sentences try to use it in your daily conversation but agar aap hindi mein bhi baat karte no problem use that word so now we'll give an example read we'll continue after two minutes yes okay same topic we'll continue we will teach you how to work on your vocabulary yes you sing newspaper you see yeah. this always yeah. read this paper with a pencil or a pen i would suggest a pencil not a pen because if you make any anything any marks you can erase it you can erase it see you after 2 minutes